So, good evening. We are back again. Third of three uploads today. Uh, different settings, of course. You know how we roll. A little bit sunburnt. Uh, that's also how we roll. Uh, but listen, it's been a mad Sunday. England won. I didn't watch it. No Grealish, no party. And um, the dogs are going mad in front of me. So if you can hear panting in the background, it is the dogs. We just took them for a walk. Uh, make sure if you haven't already subscribed, you are subscribed. Stick a thumbs up on the video and make sure you follow my Instagram, leegunner82. The link for that is in the description of the video. Make sure you check that out. Also, if you haven't checked out the last two videos that I've done, go and check them out. The first video this morning was about Burnt Leno and the asking price that Arsenal were after for him. And the second video was about the hipster's choice. <laughs> oh dear, Manuel Locatelli, uh, Sassalu in Italy midfielder. So go and check them two videos out if you haven't already. And uh, I'll be back again tomorrow with free uploads. Like I said, England won today. I didn't watch it. I went on a walk. I went for lunch. It was beautiful. No stress. No stress in me street round here, baby. We were loving life. But we are going to talk about... Um, I had to think about that, Lucas Torreira. And uh, Lucas Torreira, the one away midfielder who wants Boca Juniors. And he's been wanting Boca Juniors pretty much his whole life, really. Um, never really wanted to join Arsenal. Never really wanted to play in England. Always cried about the weather, which I get, because, listen, apart from the last couple of weeks, the weather's been doggers. It's been really nice today. But he hasn't really wanted to be here ever since he joined. And we weren't his first choice, let's be real here. He wanted to go to Napoli and uh, Napoli couldn't afford him. So he's kind of slumming it at Arsenal. Scored the goal against Tottenham. We all know about that. I was right behind the goal as well. So I was absolutely loving life on that. See him whip his shirt off and uh, run around the back of the goal in front of me. It was a madness. But listen, he hasn't really had the, uh, the loan that I think everyone expected over at Atletico. He's hardly played any games. He's not been in the thought process, really, of Don Simeone. And um, it's all gone a bit sideways for him. The fact that he's still under contract with Arsenal gives me a little bit of hope that we can get some fee for him because, listen, this is uh, his contract's running down real quick, by the way. Uh, he hasn't got long left on his contract. I think two seasons left. Not only that, um, the fact that people know and clubs know, agents know, etc., etc., that he don't want to be at Arsenal, that will drive the price down. The fact that we're not in uh, Europa League, we're not in Champions League, we're not in that Europa Conference League, Again, that will drive the price down as well. So, look, we're in a, a bit of a predicament here where we're kind of stuck with a player that doesn't want to be with us, that's not really worth that much money anymore, and uh, we're going to lose a hell of a lot of money on him for having, what, one and a bit seasons? Kind of mad, um, because that's all he's pretty much had. And, look, at the end of the day, it's quite clear that Arsenal want to go and buy midfielders. Lucas Torreira could help towards funding some of them midfielders. But how much are we genuinely going to get for the guy? You know, I kind of like Lucas Torreira. I think he's a decent player. But at the same time, it's like, how much are we actually going to get for the guy? Two years left on his contract. Don't want to be here. You know, Fiorentina are linked to him at the moment. That's the one that's picking up a bit of traction. You know, Fiorentina have been linked to him since pretty much when he got here. And nothing's ever really come to fruition with that. They've not put a bid in or anything like that, but they are said to be in talks with him this time around. But they've been in talks, potentially, with Lucas Torreira before. And look, there's been a lot of clubs that are interested in Lucas Torreira. Atletico Madrid, uh, Boca Juniors is the club of his choice, Fiorentina, Roma, Lazio, Napoli. You know, the list goes on and on and on. Is anyone actually going to put a bid in for him or is it just all paper talk and all agent talk? Because... Look, there's nothing to stop us keeping Lucas Torreira next season. We obviously got rid of Danny Ceballos. He's gone back. We've got rid of uh, Martin Odegaard. He's gone back to Madrid as well. So we're in desperate need of midfielders. Granit Xhaka looks like he's about to leave and go to Roma. So that's three of our midfielders down. Joe Willock, another one linked to Newcastle in a permanent move. Smashed it on loan for them. Maitland Niles, again, another one that's linked to a move away. So that's like five of our midfielders, which leaves us, what, El Nenny, <laughs> Smith Rowe. Like, this is, this is going really well, isn't it? Like, we haven't really got loads and loads of centre mids that can do jobs for us. And, you know, at the end of the day, the ones that we have got currently that are still under contract may come back and help us. Genduzi's another one. Lucas Torreira, Genduzi, there's two that are on the books that could 
potentially come back, start fresh and go over again. I'd love to know what you guys think on that. Like, you know, would it would it be the worst move to get Torreya and Ganduzi back and embed them into the team? Obviously, yes, it's great that we want to go and sign Eve Basuma, we want to sign Neves, we want to sign Locatelli, we want to sign other players along the way. Donny van der Beek's another one we're looking at. But would it be the worst thing for Arsenal to say, actually, Genduzi, come back. You're you're actually you're you're all right, bruv. Come back. Yeah, Torreya, you're you're in. You know, and start fresh, give him a new lease of life. We've seen it with El Nenny. You know, listen, El Nenny's not the greatest footballer we've got, but the one thing he is is consistent, consistently average, but consistent. You know, and I just look at it and I think that we could potentially save ourselves a lot of money. Are they good enough? That is the question. You know, Lucas Torreya showed, showed glimpses of being a top class midfielder for us. Genduzi, I think superb. I love him. You guys already know that to watch me on a regular basis. But I just think that, you know, this this Torreira story is just dragged and dragged and dragged for nearly two seasons now. And nobody's really bid for him. So let's be real here. Does anyone actually want him? Is this why these stories constantly come out? Because his agent's going, well, actually, I'll get you a move. And then he tries to drum it up by saying this team's interested, this team's interested, when genuinely no one's interested. Is he all that? Leave it in the comment section down below. Would you take him back? Do you think he can do a job at the club? I personally think he's got something about him. You know, I've seen a lot of people that were cussing Unai Emery because he played him at number 10. Look, at the end of the day, it is what it is. He played him at number 10 for, what, two or three games. Whoopee, get over yourselves. Sometimes you have to play players out of position. I understand it. Today, England played Kieran Trippier at left back when we've got two left backs on the bench. Like, that's some Wenger-esque move right there. You know, that's some Arteta move right there. But it worked. We won 1-0. We've got three points on the ball. So sometimes you do have to play players out of position. But but I'd love to know what you guys would do with Lucas Torreira. Do you think he'll move? If so, is he going to Boca Juniors, uh, the club of his choice? Or is he actually going to just stay at Arsenal, run his contract down and leave for nothing like they all do? I don't know. Would you take him back at the club? Would you take Genduzi back at the club? Leave it all in the comment section down below. I'll be back again tomorrow with free uploads again. So make sure you keep your eyes peeled for that one. Um, also, if you haven't checked out the last two that I've done, Locatelli. I know all you hipsters will be all over that one. Oh, Locatelli. He's amazing. He plays for Sassalu, but he's in the Italy squad. Um, none of you watch him. <laughs> and uh, make sure you go and check the video out of Burnt Leno as well that I did this morning as well. So... Big thumbs up on the video, subscribe if you're new, share the content around and listen, make sure you follow me on Instagram. I'd really, really appreciate it if you followed my Instagram, Lee Gunner 82 on that one. That link is in the description down below. <coughs> and uh, thank you very much for watching. Listen, big up to all of you. Even though England won today, yeah? Southgate out. <laughs>